Welcome back to Quarantined with the Pastors. Uh, we are now in episode 8 of our series. This has gone on longer uh, than I thought it was whenever we started with episode 1, but uh, here we go. Uh, so we've got a bunch of announcements for you tonight, some things we want to uh, clarify and, and make you aware of, but before we begin any of that, uh, Pastor Eddie is going to begin with uh, just a word from, from Scripture and a devotional thought for us today. Psalm chapter 107 says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. One of the things that we need to be doing during this time of dealing with the coronavirus is we need to be praising the Lord and remembering him and blessing the Lord. Amen. He's going to take us through it, but this is a time of returning to him. And when returning to him, we need to be giving thanks to Him through all the things that He's going to take us through. Absolutely. Amen. So let's just kind of talk through the week and, and talk about some things that are coming up. Number one, uh, this is going to be our last episode with all three pastors live. Okay, so we are we are uh, kicking pa uh, Pastor Parker off the show temporarily. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> I'll still be here. Yes. I uh, will find a way. Pastor Parker is going to be um, uh, working from home for the next couple weeks. As many of you know, uh, as a nation, they expect this week to kind of be the peak of the virus, but in the state of Alabama... They think our peak is going to be over the next couple of weeks. We're a little behind the curve. And so just to be cautious, just to be safe, uh, Pastor Parker has grandparents, and we have uh, you know, Pastor Eddie's elderly, so he's at high risk. Um, and so just to, just to be as safe as we can for everybody, uh, Pastor Parker is going to begin working at home um, this week. And so this will be your last live version of Pastor Parker. But Pastor Parker's going to talk to you a little bit about what he's still planning on doing uh, from his home, so uh, I'm still gonna be here. I'm still gonna be. Uh, and by here, he doesn't mean here. He means yeah, no, like <laughs> yeah, no, I'm here for you. <laughs> um, but in a way, I'm still gonna be here yes. because I'm gonna FaceTime in, and, and my face is gonna be somewhere here. Right in this area. Uh, so I'm still gonna be a part of it, just not physically here. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing that through some kind of video chat platform. I don't know yet. Um, but also, just speaking of video chat, uh, for the youth, we're going to try to do a Zoom social thing. I don't know exactly know when that's going to be. I'll be getting with you guys to set up a time, and we're just going to be um, all together on Zoom, uh, just talking, talking about what's been going on, and just hanging out. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, look for that soon. And... Um, yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he's also going to do, he's going to, well, let me, let me rephrase that. He's going to attempt to continue to do children's church videos for Sunday morning. Now, I say he's going to attempt because of as right now, this is how many he has. I'm very disappointed. He has none. So, what we need you to do, parents, is we need you to record your children telling their favorite Bible stories and sending them to parker at easternoaks.org so we can continue to show those videos uh, each week. We would absolutely love to feature your children. Uh, now, we won't do any this Sunday because this Sunday is Easter, and we're going to get to that in just a moment. Hopefully, you'll be here live. So we may do them a different time during this week, but then going forward, they'll be on Sundays at 1015. So parents, please video your children, uh, tell them their favorite Bible stories, and send them in to Parker uh, so that we can highlight those. All right? Uh, moving right along, so our next video will be Wednesday night, so that'll be a, another Bible study video. We, we try to make those videos a little longer uh, because it's our Bible study time. So again, Parker will be here virtually. And uh, Pastor Eddie and I will be here as we just do a, a 20, 30 minute Bible study with you. So we encourage you to tune in on Wednesday night for that Bible study. On Friday, our Friday episode is going to be our Good Friday communion service. And I want to talk to you a bit about that communion service because there are a couple of things that, that I think are important for us to say. First and foremost, communion by its very name is something that we do together in community. It is not only communing with our Savior, but it is with the community. And we believe very strongly that communion, the Lord's Supper, should only be done when the church comes together in community. Now, because we can't do that physically right now, we are going to do it virtually, but it is still going to be done 
as a community. We are still doing it together. And so to achieve that, I want you to know that Friday's Good Friday Communion Service is going to be at 630 on Friday evening, but it is going to be live only. What I, what I mean by that is when it's over, we are not going to post the video on Facebook. We're not going to post the video on YouTube. It is going to show one time and one time only. Why are we doing that? To encourage us to do this together. This is not something that you do after the fact. You don't see the video on Saturday morning and think, oh, well, I forgot to do communion, so I'll do it on Saturday morning. You either do it with us on Friday at 630 or you don't do it. I don't mean to say that to be to be rude or mean or anything, but that's because of what communion is. It is the community coming together. And so we're going to be doing that live on Friday night at 630. We encourage you and we pray that you'll join us in that communion service. But if you miss that Friday night communion service, you won't get a chance to see that again in the future. So I just want to make that, make that very clear. So until then, please get your supplies, get your grape juice, get your crackers, get your bread, whatever it is that you're going to use for that communion service. So that's Friday night. Sunday. Sunday is Easter Sunday. We're really excited about Easter Sunday. I know these are weird times and this is not our traditional or typical Easter service, but I heard someone say, or I saw someone say on Facebook, yes, the church is empty, but so is the tomb. The tomb is still empty. Jesus Christ has risen. We're going to celebrate that. And we're going to celebrate it Sunday with a drive-in service. So here's what that means. First, we're still going to pre-record the service because some of you may not be able to get here in person. Some of you may not be able to drive. Some of you uh, may feel uncomfortable. And so we, we don't want you to miss service. And so we're still going to pre-record service. It's still going to premiere on Facebook Live and YouTube Live at 1030 like it has been doing for this past couple of weeks. But... For those of you that can, we're going to be here live, all of us together in person. We're just going to be in our cars, okay? <laughs> so we are doing drive-in church on Sunday. Here's how that works. And we, there are some restrictions due to the Department of Public Health. And so we are trying to do our very best to obey those restrictions at this time. So first, service starts at 1030. What that means is, don't show up at 10.30. <laughs> Service starts at 10.30. We're going to be worshiping at 10.30. Please don't be pulling in the parking lot at 10.30. We need you to get here before that. When you come in, the correct radio station will be on the church marquee. So on the church sign, it will tell you the correct radio station to tune into. We'll have some music playing so that you'll know it's working. We need you to pull in, find a parking space. Uh, we're asking larger vehicles, SUVs, tall trucks. If you will park on the back row, and you will we'll be, we'll help you. We'll be outside helping you. You'll know where the back row is when you get here. Please park on the back row when you pull into the parking lot. That's going to be on the right side. So if you're a tall truck or SUV, pull in the parking lot. Park on the right side. You can even park in the grass. So our goal is to have a row of cars on the left, a row of cars on the right, and even in back in the grass area if we need to. We've got a couple other contingency plans if we have more cars than we can handle. Along, along with that, there will be some people uh, that will be practicing social distancing, but there will be about three people in the parking lot that will kind of help you know, direct you. So you know, don't, don't get anxious or anything when you turn in. There will be somebody there to kind of direct you where you need to go. And again, they'll be practicing social distancing. So they won't get right up to your car, uh, nor will they be right up against each other. Yes. Uh, so again, tall cars, uh, tall trucks, SUVs, when you pull in, please park on the right. Cars, uh, shorter cars, park on your left. You can also park in the grass area behind there. Um, please stay in your car at all times. For no reason are you allowed to get out of your car. You say, oh, well, I've got to go to the restroom. Well, cross your legs, and when service is over, drive home the speed limit quickly. Um, you can't get out of your car. You will not be allowed into the church. You cannot roll down your windows. So pl uh, please do not roll down your windows and, and wave at people and talk to people through um, in the parking lot, through the parking lot. Cannot do that. I will yell at you. He will yell at you. Park, stay in your car, keep your windows rolled up. It is going to be a, a, an abbreviated service. We're going to try to keep it to about an hour because you can't go to the bathroom. You can't get up and walk around. So we're going to try to keep it to about an hour so that you can get back home um, to the rest of your Easter. But again, that is Easter Sunday. We're looking forward to a great, great 
worship service and time on Easter Sunday. We encourage you, invite your friends. This is just like any other Easter. Invite your friends, invite family members, put this on Facebook, uh, put it on, on all your social media sites so that we can have as many cars uh, as we'll hold for drive-in service. And one of, one of the things is that uh, you've been saying, I wish I could come back to church. Every time you watch one of our videos, you say, oh, I wish I could come back to church. Well, this is the time for your wish to come true. You You're go. going to be able to come back to church. So uh, it's going to be a little different. Well, I guess it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot different than normal. Uh, but it is your opportunity to say, you know, I, I gave the devil a black eye. The devil, didn't, the devil didn't want Christ to raise from the tomb. He did. He doesn't want us to have Easter service and people are saying there are going to be no Easter services. That's not right. There are going to be Easter services. And this is a great opportunity to give the devil a black eye by showing up and saying, I'm going to support the church. I'm going to support Christ. I'm going to worship him as much of his life as I can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else? All right, guys, uh, we thank you so much once again for tuning in to Quarantined with the Pastors. I know this episode has been primarily an informational episode, but there's a lot of great stuff coming up this week of Holy Week. I want you just to keep your eyes on Jesus this week, remembering this is Holy Week. This is uh, the week where, again, we just meditate on and focus on uh, the death of Christ and the resurrection of Christ and our salvation. And so don't get down this week. Let this be a week to be lifted up. Amen. Lift your eyes to Jesus this week. All right. Thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you again on Wednesday. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come today. We thank you for your blessings. Lord, we thank you for how good you are to us, even in these difficult times. Lord, you are so much better to us than we could ever deserve. Lord, during this week of Holy Week, we pray that each and every one of us turn our eyes to you. Lord God, let us worship you. Let us praise you. Let us glorify you in all that we do. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. See you next time.